Okay, let's freaking try this one more time. My camera decided to be a rude person and kept like saying there was something wrong with the camera when there wasn't. So like the only way I know how to fix that when it does it is just to format the camera. So all of the video footage I just did for like five minutes is now gone. So welcome to another update video. It's been a while since I did one of these just because it's been a busy kind of month and for the most part I have a video for every single thing I was doing last month. But, anyway, I finished Kira's face-up, for one, and, oh, you can actually see the green eye a little bit when I do this, because the, the green eye doesn't have as big of a dome as the blue one, so, um, you can't really see it too well sometimes. But I really love how her face-up came out. Um, hopefully we'll be able to order her wig like later this week. Um, it's not that expensive, so... Um, we just gotta not be lazy humans and order it. <laughs> and then here is... Like, here's her hand. And, eh. So I did, like, copper for one... Like, for her nails, and then I kind of blended pink and purple for her fingers. I still have like tattoo work, tattoo work to do on her. Um, I just call them tattoos, not like actual tattoos in my opinion. It's just what I call them. Anyway, but I did, oh, by the way, I did get this dress on um, from uh, Walmart and it fits her really really good actually um, the only thing I would say is like the neck part right here doesn't go as tight as I would like um, but that's easily fixed I guess um, and her necklace is like all over the place the only thing I would say with this dress is it needs a belt which I can easily get that's all I, I can easily make I'm thinking actually like a chain belt or something think that would look good. And here's her legs. So she's pretty complete. Like I still have a couple more things um, as far as paint wise to do with her. Um, I haven't blushed or painted her tail and her wings yet. Um, it's just I've been like way overwhelmed the last couple of like the last week at least. So I mean it was a lot just for me to do like her body blushing and her face up and stuff but I have plans to get it done probably after I do Alex's face up because I have plans of redoing his face up to match hers a little bit more because I had planned it that way so yeah I have no clue why her head is doing that but anyway there's Kira pretty complete and I'm really happy with where she's at um and on the, on the talk of Walt Jointed Dolls, still, um, where did I put the... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I found the drawing. So this is basically rough sketch. Doesn't look good. But, um, overall, here is his basic drawing. This. I still have like I still have to sketch him out basically on paper and like do his whole bust thing like I do for all my characters. Um, it's just we were out and about today, so I didn't have time for that. But I still wanted to make this video, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, without this being colored. Um, but yeah, he's gonna have like kind of like similar makeup as to Alex and Kira. Um, I do want him to have like a mohawkish kind of style. Like I think it would be cool if this was maybe longer. It's just every time I tried to draw it longer it just ended up looking short. So it's just kind of looking like this for right now. But I have plans of him being like very like his colors are going to be more like reds and oranges and yellows and stuff like that. And um, his sculpt is 
a Tao Hoon Tao Hoon uh, Gosh. I'm sorry. Tao Hoon Hoon Dao. I think I said that correctly. I'm probably not correct, but Tao Hoon Dao. Um I don't know, I just really liked the sculpt, and after I looked, after I really liked that sculpt, like after I, I kind of made the decision that's the sculpt I wanted for his best friend, um, set that there, uh, I kind of thought, well, maybe his best friend should be in, like, tan skin or whatever, and then, um, but it's not available in tan skin and stuff, so I was a little disappointed about that, but that's fine. I mean, I think, though, I had pretty much decided that I want violet and tan skin. And, um, I'm trying to find the pictures of the sculpt. I'm sorry. Because I had emailed them to me, so... No? Okay. So, basically, here's the sculpt. And I'm showing you without a face-up because that's how I'm going to order him. It's kind of pointless for me to pay 30 extra dollars for a face-up that I'm going to wipe shortly after I get him. So, he has a bit of a smirk. That's why I really like him, because it kind of matches his personality. So, that's his sculpt. I really like it. And it and, it, and the features kind of are similar to Alex's, because I was afraid of getting someone too boyish or too grown up looking or too realistic looking because Alex isn't super realistic looking so I wanted to make sure I found a sculpt that kind of for the most part made them look like they were actually in the same world and roughly the same age the only problem is he's going to be like he's 45 centimeters so he's going to be a little bit shorter which I don't like but I mean if I really don't like it I can always get him a different body so yeah, I could always buy him a, a big, a taller body. But, um, I'm finally going to be, I'm finally able to talk about it because it was kind of pointless to talk about names if I didn't know the sculpt and I didn't know all the things. But, um, if you guys remember, in one of my story times I talk about his personality, kind of. Um, his personality has slightly changed a little bit from that very little but like I've had three different names kind of running through my head just thinking and how I pick names is I don't go by meaning or I don't go by different things a lot of times I'll just make things up or I will just like go through the alphabet and say every single like name like for Alex I, I was basically like Andrew Alex um, Audrey, or, you know, all those little A names, and then I picked Alex just because that's a name I like. Um, so I kind of did the same thing for him, and the three names, I, I like, I, these are just the three names I'm thinking of right now, and they're subject to change, and my camera's dying, so I might have to do this in two sessions. Um, <laughs> Micah, Miko, or Charlie. And in my head, I constantly call him Charlie just because that's originally what I had named him. Just because I couldn't think of anything else. But, I don't know. If you guys have any other cool names, let me know. Because um, I'm never good with names. I can I always like think up really strange names. Okay, I'm back. My camera is charged. So now that we got things with Kira and what's his name? I'm, I haven't picked a name. I seriously have no clue what to call him. So if you guys have any awesome ideas. I mean, he's supposed to be some type of like fighter arrogant I don't know if arrogant is the correct word. I don't know. I don't know how to describe his personality. But if you guys have any suggestions I would greatly appreciate it anyway um also when we were out and about today I got these and it's um here I'll show you with Alex's but they're 
it feels like leather. It can't be like a hundred percent like this is leather, because it, it to me it feels like leather. And my video is done, um, loading. <laughs> But to me it feels like leather and it looks like leather so I mean that's kind of cool and, and I only paid a dollar for these um, there are actual pages and stuff inside and um, here's Alex's it's blue of course um, basically take this but basically yeah I, I only paid a dollar for these at Earthbound if you guys know or have an Earthbound near you um, you could probably find these. They also had a mini mirror there that I had almost like was like, can I please? But I mean, I don't. It's not something I need for my dolls. So, but yeah, you can basically write in it and stuff like that. So I got these for spell books. Um. I can use it as like a grimoire or a book of shadows or something like that for my dolls. Um, Kira's is actually big enough that it actually looks like a book of shadows <laughs> for her. Um, Alex, it just it's gonna look like a normal book just because he's bigger. But I really love these. They also had them in like orange and um, there might have been a green one. If you there's a video that should be up for this that has like the follow me around. Um, so I would go watch that because there's a lot of cool stuff in Earthbound that um, would be good for dolls. So. so I got those today, but really I haven't been doing much today because I just finished Kira yesterday. But um, I did want to, while I was on and off working on Kira, I did want to start paying a little more attention to my dolls. So... Um, and this is something I had mentioned and kind of showed in my vlog. But if you don't watch my vlog, obviously you're not going to see this. Or you you wouldn't have saw this before. Anyway. So I was kind of like, okay, all my short dolls, like my Halloween's, uh, my Halloween customs and the Twyla custom and like all of those dolls need to be not on the normal stand. Um, these stands, basically. Um, because they don't fit on those stands, so there's no reason for them to even bother, like, being on there. And I have plans on getting them separate, like, different stands from Hobby Lobby that work pretty well for the for their size. So, I'm going to do that instead of them trying to make these stands work. Because they're, they're way too short for these stands, even with it all the way down, like... The, this part is like in their armpits and it makes their arms go like this so um, these stands just don't work for them but I was like okay well who do I have that needs a stand because I only had basically um, Ray on a stand but that was only because she was she's one of my favorite dolls so I want her on a stand anyway so I grabbed her and it was also Kiona but um, I realized that Kiona couldn't go on a stand either because she's also a short doll. So I grabbed Rebecca and, or my custom, Rebecca. And if you haven't seen her, I have like, even though she doesn't, she looks like Rebecca, but like I, I went through her, her entire body and like, um, painted like different sections and like, there, there's a better look at the different sections I, I painted. Um, the only part that isn't like painted like the rest of her body is her heart piece is actually painted with a um, metallic red. And I also antiqued her and stuff. I really want to find a Victorian dress for her that I can buy but that's not gonna happen for a really long time. So I just had her in an outfit from when I first got Wadona. And, um, I don't, did I do an opening of that? I don't think I did, but I think it's probably in a vlog somewhere. But, yeah, when I got Wadona, I, like, put one of the dresses I wasn't using for her on her. And, I don't know, I just felt like it didn't 
one, it didn't suit her. It, it really didn't. It, at the time, that's all the clothes, extra clothes I had were from Widona. But obviously, since I've been doing a lot more customs and stuff, I got clothes. And this is um, Twyla's outfit. The Twyla that Amber sent me. And I was like, Rebecca's color is kind of like blue and purple. So, I was like, let me see if this fits her in it. For the most part, it does. Um, the the skirt is, oddly enough, loose fitting. I have no clue why. Especially since Twyla's a smaller doll, you would think it would be, if anything, tighter, not looser. But she looks really good in it. Like, I put all of Twyla's stuff basically on her, other than the shoes, because that Twyla still is wearing those shoes. That, and she wouldn't, she wouldn't fit smaller doll shoes. Um... That and these are, these are the boots that came with Wadona, and they look great on her. I love them on her. Um, I, maybe one day I'll like antique them or something, so that way they, they're a little more fitting for her. But yeah, I gave her a new outfit, kind of gave her some attention and stuff. She looks really, really good in this outfit. I like it. Um, because Twyla does kind of have that, have that old vibe with her clothes a little, a little bit. Not a whole lot, but or that's what I get from it. So, she just looks good and I like it. So, I also combed her hair because I think, I don't think I've ever combed her hair or Kiona's because I got these dolls when I was, before I even thought about like brushing out dolls hair and stuff like that. So, it's a lot better now. It's still like a, kind, a mess a little bit, but I mean, it's a lot better than what it was. It was kind of matted and stuff, especially since I've had these dolls for like two years and um, never brushed their hair. So. Yeah, this is my Rebecca that is getting has gotten some attention. Um, as far as other dolls, there's not really anything else I need for the other dolls. Other than, um, I do want to make her earrings. Um, I just don't know what yet, because I would want to make them match the dress that she would get eventually. So, I, I don't know. And for Kiona, I... Her head was stuck for a whole second. I... I finally found one of her earrings, and I think I actually found it in a live stream, strangely enough. It's been missing for, like, months, and, like, I looked down during one of my live streams, and I was like, oh, hey, there's the other missing earring. But I painted them black. They were, I think, iris earrings. They were eyeball earrings, so I'm pretty sure they, were, they belonged to iris. Um, and then I made... These, it was like a clear orange, um, bead and a white bead. So, th she kind of has dangly earrings a little bit. And I also dry brushed the black, um, with a little bit of gold. So, they also have, um, a little bit of gold in them. And that's all I did for her, just because she doesn't really need anything else. Um... Stay, please. Thank you. And I did brush her hair out last night just because I figured she needed, needed it. Because I think I brushed her hair out at least once before. So, But I have been working on redoing her shoes because I don't know if I remember showing in a vlog or not. But her shoes started like peeling and just got really messed up but I'm working on fixing them so I'm, I'm close there's still like some stuff I gotta do to them obviously like I mean they're still white so obviously I have a lot to do put those there um wonder did I show you guys I don't think I ever showed you guys the wands I made for Kira and Alex I'm going to go grab them, because I'm going to show you anyway. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> so, this has sticky tack on it because I was using it. This is Kira's wand. It's meant to look like a crystal on the end and, like, obviously a wooden wand piece painted copper or something like that. I don't know. I kind of just went with her colors and the idea for the crystal. And it looks really good. Um, I meant to, to leave a spot for the charm. Because there's a whole reason behind the charm and stuff in the stories. So... Forgot that, so I might remake it eventually. Um, but here's Alex's wand, which, um, if you guys know, he has water magic, so I was, thought it was fitting to give something that was kind of water magic themed. So I blended it from like this turquoisey blue to a really light blue okay. to white. Well, that's why I don't stand my dolls. Kira just basically fell off my shelf. And she's been standing really good lately, so I thought, why not just leave her? And then she fell on me for no reason. She's perfectly fine. Nothing's cracked, broken, or chipped, so it's cool. Because she didn't, like, fall a ways or anything. She just kind of flopped over, and it scared me. Anyway, so there's that, and then there's this tooth right here which there's symbolism into all of that which if I ever make another video about magic I'll explain a bunch of stuff but just wanted to show you guys some stuff so yeah that's pretty much my updates I hope I hope this isn't too long um I'm sure it will it, it is but oh well and uh yeah it's going to be it for my updates. Um, I will have a story time sometime this week. I have no clue when I'll be able to put it up, make it, whatever. Um, because I do have other things that I'm trying to do. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'll at least have it out by Friday. So we'll do that. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!